All right, um, certainly an extremely hard-fought game, late-season game, uh, two teams that are absolutely exhausted. Um, the pace of the game slowed down into a tournament-like game, uh, became half-court, uh, except for the last few possessions where Chris broke us down. Um, and um, I, thought, I thought Campbell played very, very hard. And uh, they've had a good season, and I thought they've, they played really hard. I thought our guys played uh, as good a defense as we've played all year. Um, that, that is a very difficult matchup for us. Uh, the Princeton is very difficult to guard. And then you mix in their ability to shoot the ball like that. And, uh, and, and then the fourth leading score in the country. And we're very, very fortunate to win. And the reason we won was the defensive end of the floor. We were exceptional. And um, these, guys, these guys really bought into the game plan. And, um, and our guys were exceptional defensively. Less than 40% from the floor and 20% and from three, uh, that's just that's exceptional. So I'm, I'm really proud of the defensive effort. Um, and, and we just had to grind it out late. You know you got to survive. I, I, I remember people used to tell me, we, we, we got to survive Saw, the run of Saw. Well, when you play Campbell, you got to survive the run of Chris. And he's going to make plays late. And um, you know, he's very, very good at it, very good at it. But we made just enough plays, hit our free throws when we needed to. This guy to my left is back-to-back uh, -back career highs, uh, is coming gangbusters. And um, I told him when we recruit him, he'd be one of the best post players in the league. And um, he's coming a little bit even faster than I thought he would. So just dominant inside. Um, I love how our guards trust him and throw it to him because he can go get it. And then his finishes uh, late. And uh, everything was great except that last free throw. And, you know, that thing, it was – what was that, Jordan? I don't sometimes know. You miss no. them. Uh, sometimes you miss them. I knew he was going to say that. I knew he was going to say that. But I thought he was a difference maker for sure and, um, and gives, gave us an inside presence that was exceptional. Uh, really, really proud of that win. Really proud to get the eight conference win. A month ago, this team was 2-7 and seven in the league. And we're 8-9 and nine right now with a chance to go. Uh, nine and nine in the league to totally turn around our record on Saturday and go seven and two. And um, looking forward to a very big challenge of, of going to uh, Winthrop and playing, you know, one of the best teams in our league for sure. But really, really excited about tonight, really excited about how we gutted it out, and really excited about our defensive effort. You said this was like a playoff game. Does this, how much confidence does it give you going into next week when the playoffs get going? You know, I've had confidence in this team all along. I've watched them develop. Uh, we're still not as good as we can be. We still have a long way to go, but we've figured out ways to win. And we've made just enough plays uh, over the last month uh, to win seven of the last nine. We lost in overtime to the first place team and had a chance to win on the road at Gardner Webb, and those are our only two losses. Everything else is, is we, you know, we've we've won. So, just really proud of their growth, and uh, they should have confidence going into into tournament play. They should have confidence. They've earned the right to to have confidence, and uh, they've earned the right to be called a good team. Not a great team yet, but certainly a good team. Jordan, uh, speaking of the word confidence, you, you, I don't know what clicked, uh, but maybe you know. But I mean, the last three games or so. You've been very confident. Like when you catch the ball, you finish. Uh, you're very active. What? What? I mean, I know you've been practicing hard and trying hard all year. It's not like you just started playing hard. But what? If, what can you attest the difference over the last three games as opposed to the you know the first 25? Uh, really, just playing carefree. Honestly, uh, coach always tells us uh, when to lose. If you go hard, you just gotta be satisfied with the results. So that's really how I've been playing these last few games. Just going hard and when the lose, just be satisfied with the results. And do you feel like the, the he mentioned the guards are trusting you more? Um, I guess when you make 20 out of 23 shots, you're going <laughs> to get trust. But I mean, do you feel that, that you have earned their trust, that they will throw you the ball now and it's not all jack up three type stuff? Right, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, we, uh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, well, me and the guards, we got a good relationship and whatnot. And, you know, I joke around with them and everything. And some of the passes they was throwing, I was pretty surprised they was throwing them. But I caught them anyway, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it's nice to have a lot of trust in your guards and whatnot. And it's nice. Yeah, yeah. We, we go at seven for ten, and his field goal percentage dropped. Yeah. Um, first three, three buckets he's missed in three games.
What about Barkley? What about the uh, uh, the defense on Clemens? I mean, six of eighteen, and you know, late he's either going to shoot it or drive it and try to get to the line. But I thought a lot of his shots you were contesting. Like, uh, I mean, this is a guy that can hit ten threes in a game if if, if he gets off. But what, was there a special plan to make somebody else beat you, or was it just? And, and the other people can beat you. I mean, Burke is as good a shooter statistically or better. Um, we, we didn't have a specific plan for him. We just had a specific plan for their offensive attack. And it, we, we wanted to do the same thing with each of their, each of their guards because Gensler and Burke and, and Chris are all capable of – he's capable of 35 to 40. They're capable of 25 also because they shoot it so well. So we knew, we knew the key to the game – was we had to work extremely hard for long periods of time on the defensive end, and we had to contest threes. The, the games they win, they make threes. And when they make threes, they're impossible because that opens up the drives, it opens up the back doors, and um, you, it, it's just you're going you're gonna to have to give up something, and we, we knew we weren't going to give up contested or try not to give up contested threes because that's when they can put tremendous numbers up on the board. And I'm just so proud of our guys. I'm, I know on film it's probably not going to be as great as I think it is right now when we sit down and break it down, but it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty good. And um, I'm really proud of, of how hard they played. How big was the start of the game playing – a number of guys that don't usually get in at that point, but you know, for you guys to still be up at that first TV timeout, how big was that? I, I planned on playing them a minute and a half, and they went all the way to the first timeout, and we're up three. And I'm so proud of them. I'm just so proud of Cortez, and of course he plays a lot, but I'm proud of those guys' execution and JC handled the ball and uh, they, they executed defensively. We allowed them to play a little bit of zone because we had bad matchups because of that lineup. But those five seniors played really well. And, and, you know, they've been such a big part of our program. And I'm so thankful that we won on senior night. I'm just so thankful for that. And um, um, they did a great job. I mean, a super great job the first four minutes. And uh, they, they kept playing so well. We just left them in. The, co the coaches said, you ready to sub? And I said, no. And so we broke the game plan and just let them go. And because they've earned that. They've earned that, and as long as they're playing well, why not leave them in there? They certainly helped us for sure, and um, I'm really proud of those five guys. All five of them are going to graduate on time or this summer and um, right on schedule to graduate, and we're really proud of that.